Turning Casino and Resort in Verona, New York. You're watching the Turning Stone Classic 25, another $25,000 added the, to the Josh Northeast Nine Bowl Tour, Mr. Mike Zuglin and company. And we want to mention that Josh Cues is the main sponsor on board, along with, of course, OB and Dan Heydrich of Heydrich Custom Cues. AZ Billiards, azbilliards.com, the world's largest pool and billiards website, along with live stream news on Facebook. If you have accessibility to Facebook, seek out the live stream news group and suggest to be a member. Just give our moderator some time to get on board and uh, accept you. They give you clearance, Clarence. We'd like to thank Simonis, Aramis Balls, the Kings of Vapor, and also the Kings of Billiards. And, of course, the Tap League, the best amateur league in North America. And there is the Kings of Vapor right on your screen out of Akron, Ohio. Also, they own the Kings of Billiards in Akron. And let me tell you something. They got a big surprise coming up. Diamond made a four-pocket table. They eliminated the side pockets for Earl Strickland. And we're going to have some challenge matches out there in Akron. And I think the first challenge match is going to be Jason Shore versus Earl Strickland. And we're going to keep you up to date and on social media and on AZ Billiards about that match as we proceed to get more information. We want to thank Baltimore City Cues. They have a booth right up here in front of the... Arena, uh, two great people, uh, low-end cues to high-end cues, and, of course, all the gadgets in between, BaltimoreCityCues.com. The new sports drink that's sweeping the nation right now, they're already in Europe, forget about Europe, now they're sweeping the nation in the United States, it's called Czechiao. Increased stamina, reduce fatigue, better performance, improve self-confidence, all natural, all vitamins. DianaHoppy.com for all your pool and billiards memorabilia. That's the princess to see. Good friends with everybody in the pool world. Always supported pool and still continues to do so. DianaHoppy.com. Pay her a visit. Send her an email. If you're in the market for memorabilia with autographs or anything of cue balls and pitches or posters, Diana has it. She also has teeth. She's got Earl Strickland's wisdom teeth. And Joel Shapiro. The biggest uh, owner of probably Balabushka's cues. Uh, rumor has it that Joel Shapiro has uh, Bushka's finger that he got chopped off. But I don't know. You'd have to ask Joel about it. But we want to say thank you to Joel. Derby City Classic right around the corner. And AccuStats will be doing a full production right there at the Horseshoe in southern Indiana. January 22nd through the 30th. Make sure to keep up to date with AccuStats.com because they will put out some early bird specials for that package. Talking about a package, we're heading down to Steinway Billiards in Astoria, Queens, New York. You go over to SteinwayBilliards.com website, and you can purchase the pay-per-view for this right there. The buttons are live. That's SteinwayBilliards.com. They're shooting it out for $20,000. Copigny and Dennis Acolo. And, of course, the big match that everybody's talking about is Shane Van Boning versus Dennis Acolo, and that's going to take place in the Carom Room. You can go over to the CarumRoom.com and purchase your pay-per-view. It's like $7.50 a day if you buy the early bird special. After February 1st, you'll be paying $14.97 a day. Don't miss out. It's a great price worked out by the promoters in the pool room. The CarumRoom.com. Mr. Mr. Phil Capel of Billiards Press. Uh, also, we want to support him. He has books out there. And Phil's been writing for many magazines with very little compensation. This is the way we can show our appreciation, by buying one of his books. But you are not really doing him a favor. Believe me, there's more information in those books than you could shake a stick at. A lot of top players do have them in their library. Mr. Phil Capel, BilliardsPress.com. And, of course, Molinari, MolinariGloves.com. I don't know if he has any more left. He's been selling them like crazy. Ira Lee is on premises, has a booth here. So we want to send a big thank, out, big thank you out to Greg Antonakis. Buy your Southwest from the best, Greg Antonakis. American Q Pickers, get in touch with Greg at GA9Ball at gmail.com. And we're going to let Mike Zuglin do his announcements, and I'll be standing by.
Well, it looks like we're getting on the way. Uh, is that you, Brooke? He's a two-time Alaska State Nine Ball champion. Is that you, Brooke? Wow, you grabbed the wrong microphone. Is that you? I don't know. That's you. You're number four. Okay. I'm number four. You should have number two, but that's all right. You're good. You're good. Oh, I can switch. No, no. Stay right there. That's your monitor. Uh, they did do the lag. I was in the midst of changing camera angles. <laughs> Luke Salvas. Brett. Lee Brett. I don't know if you, a lot of you people don't know who Lee Brett is. Lee Brett was one of the referees at, at, on the West Coast when they were playing bonus ball. Uh, and also an instructor. Oh, was he really? Yeah. I never got to watch any of the bonus games. Well, Lee Brett was one of the referees, yeah. We were talking earlier, this should be an interesting match with the uh, both of them. Both of them play fast. Very they fast. Do. Be careful, it might be over. We wanted to get Luke on because we know a lot of our Canadian friends uh, that are here, not only here, but they're also at home and they're, they're tuned in, so... We definitely wanted to get Luke on board. It's going to be hard to commentate on him, I'll tell you right now. And maybe switching cameras on him might even be difficult because he he is a speed pool champion. And when he's on, he's on. I think Luke is a 54 or 53 years old. Uh, and he moves around like he's a 12-year-old uh, once he gets in gear. And this gentleman at the table also shoots fast, Lee Brett. Mikey, is that you? You on? Yeah, I'm on. All right. Mike Yetnick also on a microphone. Nothing strange to Mike Yetnick. Talk about a uh, saxophone player, just like Jared Arsamina in our chat room. Uh, uh, Mike's used to the stage. Welcome aboard, Mike. Thanks for having me. There you go. Just in case anybody doesn't know, there's a camera right up there. and Say hi to everybody. I'll go left here. There you go. <laughs> That fast, Luke gets around the table as we just switch cameras for a second. He is a speed pool, a speed pool champion. So uh, Lee just missed that six, and then uh, the other guy ran out. So that what just happened? Yep. So Luke got out. Yeah. He actually uh, won the game, and the eight ball was still rolling on the table. <laughs> That's how fast he is. I got that from Danny Lee. <laughs> right, hit the break square, came out dry. Regular, uh, Lee doesn't shoot slow either. He's a very rapid player. He's probably going to play for the two in the corner instead of in the side here. Come three rails around for the three ball on the side now. Wow. Just got perfect here. Pretty connect the dot out. It doesn't take him long. Something to be said about playing fast. I mean, you just totally, you know, you remove the, uh, your, your ability to think too much. Yeah, I wonder where he's going to play this seven in the side, I'm assuming. Yeah. If he's on the right side of the seven. Yeah, he's got the eight in the side right here. We need uh, Mike to either speak up or uh, we'll crank you up. Which one are you? Speak got up. you. I'll speak up. I can crank you up. He's probably just going to push the nine down. Yep. Okay, so Lee's already missed two balls in the set. That's going to be tough. Scores right up there, fellas. Two nothing.
Well, Mike, I hate to bring it up, but I know you're knocked out of the tournament. Uh, you had a Hill Hill match with Joe Dupuy for your second loss. But, and this is not your first occasion you come up here. What do you, what do you think about this event? I love this event. Mike puts on a great event. I just, uh, sometimes I perform a little better than other times. I was a little jumpy today and a little jumpy yesterday. Lost to Hunter Lombardo, was up 7-3, and uh, gave the match away to him as well. Come all the way up here, and you got to play somebody from Amsterdam. Isn't that something? Yeah, it's kind of cute. It, it happens. It's a computer-drawn bracket, and it does happen. It's okay. As long as you learn from the experience, that's what matters. There you go. He's having a little difficulty on racking. Have we been having that regular on this table? Or I know yeah, it's, it's, a little it's, rough. it's the spot. It's that spot that's uh, causing him not to rack right and we had difficulty in this match prior to well just about all of them let's say these were the tables used in the u.s open so they're a little worn in and it's a little tough to rack i was noticing difficulty as well didn't take him long to break them and the nine ball goes in the hole he now leads yeah that's brutal three nothing i never liked that rule <laughs> well, nine, nine ball went straight in so it's definitely the rack not anything special he just uh had a gap behind the ball yeah. on the left side and, and it's you know that nine ball's been finding its way uh tracking towards that left corner quite a bit that means that the five ball is loose on the nine and that's why it's going towards that pocket look at a nine going way up table now if you oh. have a good rack then the nine shouldn't move theoretically speaking it should stay right rows racked Leaves him a little bit of a spot here. I'm not sure if he can thin the one and leave him safe. Yeah, I, I kind of like putting some right-hand English. If he can cue the ball, the cue ball the right way, put a little yeah, right-hand yeah. English and just try to bring him behind the five or bring the cue ball all the way down. Yeah, I think he's trying to go behind the two. Yep. Yeah, that's what he tried. He got him, I think. Well, Massé made it straight in the pocket. That was a great shot. He had him. That was a great shot. It's a thin cut. Oddly, Lee doesn't have an open pocket again. I would probably try to freeze him on the three. There's yeah. Aaron. Aaron in the chat saying hi to the booth. Al Brook and uh, Mike. You know Aaron. Takes pictures all the time. Yeah. Hey, Aaron. Good She's shot. Out there. Just in case you guys need to chat, if you if you got to see it a little bit, there it is here. Okay, this is another opportunity Lee has. He needs to get out here. He's had opportunities and just hasn't been running out, so I don't know how many he's going to get. Well, does the four ball go by the seven here? No, but it goes in the side easy. Oh, it looks like it does go. Yeah, it goes. Yeah, it goes. Because this way here, he can stay up table for the five ball. But he might want to roll a little bit forward so he doesn't draw it back into the side, though. So he's going to want to decide funny. that first. I like getting the angle, like favoring the right long yeah, rail here. To come back a little bit. Or Instead of coming to the short side of the five. But now I don't think he has any choice. He's going to have to come to the short side of the five. Not that it's that short, you know, it's. But the five ball is favoring the right side of the table a little bit. Oh, jam the pocket. Never mind. He one stroke that ball. I, I haven't seen Lee miss this much, honestly. He usually plays a little better in this. Watch how fast this guy shoots. Yeah, he might be rushing because of his opponent. That's a great shot. And this is a connect the dot out now. You know, stop, stop, stop. Stop on the five. Come a little closer to the seven. Stop on. Oh, I thought that was the seven next. Seven's that there on the rail. It was my bad. This is a little trickier now. Oh, there's six balls out. left on the table. Yeah. Yeah, me too. There we go. Good speed. Barely have time to commentate with this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to fill the air. You're absolutely right. Not only at the camera angle switching in the whole nine yards and stuff, but you're going to try to leave it in this position right here. <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty natural. Uh, I just didn't see the six ball. But. Four nothing. This could be our quickest match yet. We got started 13 minutes into uh, the match. By the time Mike Zuglin finished his announcement, so he, uh, 
Yeah, we're into the match about 10 minutes. Took Mike about five minutes to do his announcement. I think Lee's missed three shots already, right? I know he's missed one shot in each rack. So, oh, there that explains it. This, this could get Lee back in stroke. As long as the two has a pocket. But he'd like to not have to play the 2-6 combo. He's actually debating the 1-9 combo because he doesn't want to take the 2-6 combo later in the rack. Well, not only that, it gives him a fast game, you know, gets him on the board and breaking with this format. When I'm doing a combo, mm -hmm. I like to move the cue ball a lot closer to the 1 so that it's harder for me to miss hit the 1. That's good. This is a hard combination shot. Nine in the side. Yes, yeah, another pocket. Good shot. Not to Lee, it wasn't. He's on the board, 4-1. You got Bucky Suventon and uh, Nelson, the Portuguese pit bull, playing on the table behind here. And Mario Mora and so Mike Deshane on the yeah, table. Yeah, they're having a battle. Yeah, it's from Mora, the previous round. Mora was up seven. Oh, is it really? Yeah. He was up seven or. Uh, it's got to be Hill Hill over there now. Or close. And Mike had three. Yeah, Mike was ahead last time I saw. I think it was 8-7 when I, when I checked before I came over here. That's a real intense match. There's, what, do you, what do you figure, Al, 50 people watching? Watching what match? Just Mike. The Mike. And uh, the yeah, they got some crowd, uh, especially in the middle of the arena here. You know, you have really up and close personal. Uh, the third table down. In he's going to play watching safe on this one, bank this, and then put the cue behind the 3, 2, and 9. I think he left some air, maybe. Yeah, I can't tell. Looks like he's got a window. Window with a view, as Ginky would say. <laughs> yeah. Now he's having a jack up, so he doesn't have it clean. Yeah, he overspun it. Looks like he's going to get away with it. Wow. He did, huh? Didn't even aim it, hit in the only, center of the pocket. He only got away with it until you see the <laughs> outcome and loose shot. <laughs> yeah, but he one stroked it, made it right in the pocket. Let's see if he gets a roll here. Yep. He'll play the four up in the corner and the five in the same pocket, probably. I don't think he's going to come all the way up. Yeah. So he's playing the four in the corner. He may actually play the five in the opposite corner just because he's so thick on the four ball you really have to punch this to get on the five ball so I would probably just accept it in the opposite corner he got a little 50 yardish but he's got on the side you could play it to the head rail where the seven is and come back down yeah, right. this six ball is critical <laughs> yeah he got a little funny he tried to hold the cue yeah. and that's what threw his five ball off so Lee needs to get out this rack to be competitive before the set's over. Well, when you get to five in a race tonight, we consider it over the hill, you know, and now you're on your way down the hill, so yeah, this you're is, right. This Lee is good. He's on the right side of the six. He can get on the seven and eight. This should be an easy out, so Lee has to come He's with you here. He's going to have to roll the queue up into the eight and bump it. I think it'll go two rails. Yeah, one, two. Oh, hey, hey now. He hit that a little lower than he intended. He's still perfect, I think. Yeah. Lee actually has a really good video out in Fundamentals. I'm gonna do a shout out for him. Yeah, absolutely. 4-2. Lee trailing by two. I'm actually sponsored by Kamui and Jacoby. I'll do a little shout out for my boys as well. <laughs> Sure. That's what we're here for, Mike. If we can't support the sponsors and they support us, then it's not right. You said Lee has a video? Yeah, Lee Brett has a good video on, on mechanics and Does he really? Yeah, basic <laughs> fundamentals that everyone should know and how to approach the ball and everything. He's it's it's pretty thorough. He 
besides the clothing line, right? Was he got American clothing line or something? I didn't know he had a clothing line. I just know about his DVD. Yeah, I'm not mistaken. So I would roll forward on this one and get on the left side of the two. So I naturally came down for the three. Let's see if he does that. Otherwise, the six ball becomes a factor. I know Rennie's going to kill me now because I forget the name of the clothing line, but I got to definitely search it out. Yeah, he didn't go forward, so he's got to draw back and make sure he misses the six ball as far as the six ball getting in the way. If he'd gone forward, he could have just gone one rail towards the three and evaded the six. See how the six is a big ball that way. And now it's a little harder to get on the four. He wanted to be over more so he could shoot underneath the nine and get position on the four in the same pocket. Now he kind of relied on luck there. I don't think he got the better of it. These balls, when they're close together like this, I like to actually look above and knock it all the way down on the shot so I can see the cut angle still. Can try and spin this in. Yeah, you can throw this ball quite a bit because it's so close. It's also hard to judge, though, because you are spinning it in. This is extremely missable. I think he's going to hit it too much. just into the point. This is actually awkward for Luke. Unless he can play in the side, maybe it looks better. And wow, strong shot. He's a big bounce, got it. American Hustler is the name of the uh, clothing line. So he's just gonna stop this and accept the eight. I think it clears the nine. Yeah. Played in the corner, stop it, and have perfect position on the eight. He's going to want to be slightly above the eight so that he doesn't have to touch the nine. I think he's good. Oh, no, he's going to hit the nine. Sorry, Mike, I'm trying to catch up with you. No, no, that's okay. I'm trying to catch up with Luke. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with that one. This is missable, but he hit it well. You know, so many people are scared of that shot. They would get down there and stroke it and take their time, and he just gets down there, <laughs> one stroke, bang. That's probably the benefit of playing so fast is you don't have that fear factor. I'm definitely a, a strong person for wanting to learn how to avoid that. <laughs> I had a good shot uh, to win against uh, Dupree, and I, I missed an eight ball that I, I shouldn't have missed. It cost me the set. Maybe if I had rushed a little quicker, as opposed to kind of rushed. <laughs> Sometimes contemplating too long <laughs> can hurt you. Nerves, nerves. Okay, so he's going to play safe here. Try to hit the nine, leaving behind that four ball or five ball, whatever that is. It leaked out a little bit. If I could see past his head, I could see what his next ball is. You know, he's kind of got to shoot for this one. If he can hit the right side of it. If he can't, he's in trouble. You know there's Oh, is that really? No, I'm asking. Is that? Oh, I don't know. No. I thought you said it's your better half, maybe. No. I was going to say that was missable. That's the first shot he actually shot with a little bit of deliberateness and took his time to get down. <laughs> wow, how'd he hit that? Split the jaws on that one. I think DeShane just lost to Mora, John Mora's father. Pretty sure it was a Hill Hill match. He's just not playing super sharp here. If he doesn't have the side, he's got a really good safety behind the five. He's probably just going to freeze him up on the five. Yeah. This is an easy kick, but he doesn't have any opportunity to leave him safe. What? How about make it? Wow, if that seven would have got out of the way, that three was heading right for that side pocket. Yeah, Lee didn't even get a chance to leave the table in here. He hit the ball. Yeah, this is it's quick. I don't think it fits, does it? 
Yeah, I didn't think it fit. Oh, Lee thought it did. Yeah, he I must have. have he must have thought it went if he didn't. If he shot for it. This is a super thin cut, but you're supposed to make this ball. Six ball is a little awkward. And I think he got, yeah, he got the wrong angle. He's going to have to swing two rails out and play really good speed. He hit it great. He went deep in the pocket, so he was close to the six. That was a really smart shot. A little tough to get position on the seven. He just accepted it. This is awkward to get to the eight. He's going to use low right and try to get pretty deep into the pocket so that he can come around wide. That's a very good shot. He's probably just going to one rail this, I think. No, he's going to three rail. Yeah, one, yeah he two, likes dragging three. the rock. That's a good shot. It takes away all the scratches. Nice out. Six two. Luke. Six ball was funny. The seven to the eight was funny. Just confirmed Mario Mora did defeat Mike DeShane in that match. Did he say it was 9-8? I'm pretty sure it was 9-8. I didn't ask the score. Just confirmed that he did win. Seven into the side pocket. Miss A ball. Who are you? guy. This guy's the opposite of Michael Wong. <laughs> oh, believe Mike alone, <laughs> man. Mike's a hell of a nice guy. I know. You don't this like being called the time bandit anymore. This guy's the much faster. <laughs> you're brutal. Mikey, I know you're listening in. Mike, Mike knows I love him. We'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually known as the Ninja Turtle now. The Ninja Turtle now? Yeah, Is that what he's ninja. Going by? Yeah. Yeah, Yednik's like, no, we won't edit it. <laughs> <laughs> no edits. 7-2, <Seven, two, laughs> that quick. Nine games in the pocket. And we're under, let's see, it was five minutes, uh, 21 minutes into the match. Nine games in the bag. I want to shoot for a record. This would be, uh, what was the um, Shaw versus? Uh, 22 the, minutes. 22 minutes here Against on the same Mika. table? Play, make it and do nothing wrong. Nothing, just the, the only thing he did wrong was show up. Yeah. I mean, that, that was the only thing he did wrong. That's a requirement to even start. Yeah. The light above the table is swaying left and right. I don't know if that's a right, sign. So this is a little rough here. Uh, there's the no one there's a draft. shot for the two. I feel a draft. It's the only one moving. He's going to try to get, I think, between the six and seven here. Yeah. And he was trying to go into it. I and look at this. He put I question whether he should have done that. Got to go two rails. He should have probably two, played safe on the rail. This I would slow roll. You know, try to just keep them locked up together. Just spin the rock and just slow roll it. It's hard to control, but if you hit it hard, you can open it up. Yeah, he's hoping to get a little separation, and he ended up with a good result there. He might just hit this into the seven. I don't think the seven can go, so he could probably hit it into the seven and go. Two rails back behind the three. He and plays the pretty four. good safe when he's uh, when he wants to. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I agree with that it. one though. I think Lee can just put the two ball right back where it was. Maybe catch him behind the nine, but just focus mm -hmm. all on the two, getting the two back to the short rail. I didn't see any positive coming from that. Yeah, he's safe, safe behind the four. Unless he was going to hit that, you know, with some pace, he wasn't going to get up for the four or for the three behind the five. Is that the five ball? Four ball. It's the four ball. TV ball, yeah. They called the. Wow, he hit that great. Aramis TV set supplied by, of course, Simonis. Looks like the five six is good, right? The seven's not in the way? Actually, I think the five seven. Five seven goes, the five six doesn't. It's brutal. He might have to get below it and play the cam into the seven. Yeah. Yeah, he'd rather have the five six. Yeah, he's trying to bump it. That would be a really slick shot if he did, but now he's looking at an awkward angle again. Kind of feel like you should have 
dealt with his medicine. He might just go into the seven and go three rails, try to leave him safe and leave the five against the rail, the short rail, you know, and bring the cue ball three rails back to the other short rail. Just let the guy shoot a long shot, you know, and not have anything but a bank. I don't think you're supposed to go for anything unless... I still don't think so. I think he should go right into the seven, hit the five into the seven thick, come two rails around, maybe three rails by the eight, and just leave the cue ball on the short rail. Anything else is very risky. Low roll on it. See, that's not very good because he can make the ball and he can leave him safe uh, with a soft hit. He has a lot of options here. I don't think anyone needs to watch this. Okay. Yeah, see how easy that safe was? He hit it way too hard, but he still got away with it. That worked out well. Yeah, if Lee can see the left edge, though, he can thin it and go back up Considering table. Considering where he was. It he's got a well. stretch, though. I mean, look what a nine ball is. He can't yeah, just that's a bridge shot. on the table. Yeah, he's got a yeah but he can bridge. thin it on the left side, bring the cue ball all the way back to where his bridge is now, and put the five by the seven. If he can see the right side. If he can't see the right side, then he's kind of in trouble. Yeah, the soft, soft kick. Got it. <coughs> yeah, but again, he can probably get this right behind the six. This is even easier. Look, 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 rail. Yeah, it was he's easy because he had a pocket blocker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he just played a one pocket shot there. It's a good shot. You know, hit the five into the eight. Both balls go away from the pocket, and you leave them behind the six. It's a standard one pocket shot. I play one pocket like once a year, so I know that shot. <laughs> <laughs> Not calling anybody out. Yeah. Luke hits it. Okay, now I can put him behind the eight and really put him in jail. That's the shot here. You put him right behind the eight. Knock the five into the seven. Yeah, I was going to say. That's all just speed at that point. Yeah, Later. it's a bad roll if the five goes off the seven. It, it shouldn't go that way. It should go by the pocket, but it shouldn't go in. And he should just play all speed of the cue ball and put the cue ball behind the eight. There's almost no question here. You don't go for anything else. Unless he has a side pocket. Does he have the side pocket? Wow. Can't shoot the pocket on these diamonds. Just can't do it. He hit that as good as you could hit it, and it just will not go in on the diamonds. I think that was a diamond decision error, I'll call it. <laughs> so I'm going to play this in the opposite diagonal corner. Wow. Huh. It's crazy. <laughs> you let that one fly. Yeah, he just. Uh, I might cross the six to the pocket by the eight ball, come down for the seven, where if I miss it, I probably leave him safe. And I play the seven in the pocket by the nine. This is a really good shot. Let's see if he does you're that. You're talking about hitting it with the right speed. Yeah, too. cross, cross okay. corner. How about just doing that? Well, if you're going to spear it in with top and side follow, uh, and you have more huevos than others. In the booth. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's so all to watch don't, this don't scratch, rock. Don't scratch. Watch the rock. Wow, it didn't come close. Sorry, I that. want a match here, so I don't want him to scratch. See, I would have hit follow with that and gotten off the rail more, but he's not going to miss it. 7 3. Good out, all considering. That was a great shot on the, what, six ball to the seven? Someone says, are these guys pros? Pros miss two. <laughs> Pro bangers? What does that mean, pro bangers? They're just guys a speed pool world champion right here. Yeah, they don't, know. yeah. They, don't, they don't know. They don't know what they're talking about. Well, Snooker knows. He's on the West Coast. He's just being silly. Nobody plays perfect. Yeah, I saw somebody post that this. They uh, they yeah. play faster than, than Shaw. He is he is a world champion speedball speed pool player. Yeah, he is. That would and that would be the reason why. Lee Breton and Shruck during his own right. His own DVDs out. He was also a referee for bonus ball. Yeah, that's Very a good nice. shot. Any questions whether he's a pro after that shot? Or how about the force follow shot in the sixth? <laughs> The seven in the last game.
Okay, this three ball, I think he's probably going to play for the side pocket. Three rails to the side. No, played off the six. I would have never done that. But this is eminently missable. And he's kind of have to go into the four, I think. Can try to hit the eight. What do you do here, Brooke? You're not talking. <laughs> he doesn't have a chance. These guys play so fast. Nothing towards you. Just he doesn't. These guys play so fast. Yeah. See, that was it's dangerous because he had to hit the four ball. And he got a little bit of a bad roll. Don't worry, I'll be a lawyer. I don't worry about it. Played the wrong position, I think, on Thanks the on three. Me, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not throwing him on the bus. <laughs> Just want some help here. <laughs> Good luck no, with that. You're, 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 you're coming. <laughs> Sometimes they're coming up with. So you're doing, you're doing quite a, well, sir. You go right ahead. We're, we're enjoying this. Watch out, six ball. Oh, he's good. He's good. You know what? Luke is threatening to go up on the hill here. Yeah, but that was a bad shot. Sure was. He was wanted to play for the side pocket. Yeah, and the seven's in a bad spot. This isn't this isn't easy. He's got to, you know, if he makes it, he's out, I think. But he's going to make this ball. Let's see if it takes a few more seconds. Oh, scratched. Ouch. All right, so Lee's in this match. I actually hit this with center outside and go above the eight here and miss the side pocket. I think he might be using that Watch shot. Watch that side pocket. Yeah. He's got, you just play speed so you don't have to worry about the side. So he's going to use low outside, hit the rail and spin down towards the eight. Then have a natural one rail to the nine. Oh, I guess he was a little thinner than I thought. You pocket this, you got the nine ball. A little wobbly, but got in there. I do feel like Lee's rushing a hair. I think that he's playing his rhythm. All right, so 5 7, right? Was this uh, typically seven, Lee's rhythm? Seven, I've never four. seen him play, so. Um, yeah, no, he plays a little slower, a little more deliberate than this. I think he's playing a little more in the Luke speed. I know he plays faster, yeah. but he's playing a little bit. Because you can let the speed bit. of your opponent be contagious. Yeah, I think, I, I think he's playing a little faster than usual. Watch the seven and the one ball here, folks. And they both yeah, they're not getting that. Shy. They're not getting that rack time because he hit that well. That should have gone. Seven should have gone in. He cut it the right way. You know. The yeah, they're doing that cut break. I was breaking differently today. Actually, you know what? I, I was I was really happy with my break today. I was breaking, just hitting them dead straight into the rack. I wasn't doing that cut break. I saw people doing it. And, um, yeah, with the magic I rack, I make a ball I every time with I the cup break. Making, uh, well, yeah, true. And, you know, even after you get a, uh, you know, what you think is a decent rack on this, um, you can get some of the balls that just, if the top three aren't together, you get some of those other balls that aren't, aren't, aren't really together, and it'll make a difference. That's why that cup break just, I'd rather have them spread out. It's a little funny here. Yeah. He's trying to get for the side, I think. How'd he hit yeah. it? Got it, good. Real good. Yeah, this is one rail. He's going to go off the long rail towards the six. Very natural here. He's going to play a Z pattern on the seven, so he's going to stay a little more on the left side of the seven. He's trying to stay on the left side, trying to stay on the left side. Huh? I hope it's not the Lee Z pattern. Yeah, I think he got straight where he can just draw straight back, yeah. I thought, on the hill now. I thought he went on the hill before. No, no, he's on, on the hill. hill. Eight to four. Luke Salas out of Canada. Luke owns a room, and I forget the name of the pool room. Any of you guys know? No, where's his room? In Canada. Oh, I just forget. Yeah, they won't let me back. We had him in the booth last time in August, and <laughs> he was telling us about it. Yeah, he just hit a dead square like that. There's a nine ball for the match. Wow. Like Brooke was talking. There's two nine balls on the break. Quick. Blame it on Brooke. Throw him under the bus. <laughs> Eight yeah, until Brooke four. said to hit a square. He hit a square. made the nine right in the break. We want to thank Mike Yetnick for sitting in. Of course, Brooke Myers. That match is over. We're going to say goodnight, folks, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Be down here either 10 in the morning or I'll be down here at 12 o'clock the latest. 
Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We are done for tonight. That's the last stream match. Good night, folks. Thank oh, you, yeah. uh, Jacoby and Kamui. Good night, guys.